Hello, this is Nicholas Arcieri with Clean PC, and today I'm going to be reviewing ArchBang Linux 2011.11. A little bit of history on ArchBang Linux. Um, it's a derivative of Arch Linux, which is known as a minimalist Linux distribution. Um, and it uses the OpenBox Window Manager. That's where the bang comes from. Um, actually, CrunchBang Linux, which is an Ubuntu derivative. Uh, using the OpenBox window manager is where they got the idea to bring OpenBox to Arch. And if you search the CrunchBank forums, you can actually find the post um, where they thought, hey, let's start a distribution with an Arch base using OpenBox window manager. And that's where we came up with ArchBang Linux. So one of the first things you'll notice uh, when you boot into ArchBang is that you have Conky configured by default. Conky is a great piece of software to display pretty much anything you want um, on the desktop about your system. By default, you have the CPU and the RAM monitor. You have the system information here, as well as some top processes. It also gives you uh, a bunch of shortcut keys, so if you're relatively new to Linux or to Arch, uh, you can see that you can use these combinations to open up any program that you want. And if you right-click in OpenBox, you get the menu. And pretty much everything in OpenBox is a right-click to do anything. So we can see we can do an install, um, which we're not going to do. We are running ArchBang in VirtualBox using a gig of RAM and an 8-gig hard drive. So you can see, um, again, this is a minimalist distribution here. So there's not a ton of programs uh, included by default, but we'll go through some. So we'll look at the file manager and they chose to include PC Man File Manager version 0.9.10 and you can see on the left we have our shortcuts and we can click through the GUI and navigate through the file system we can also use the address bar here at the top to type in where we want to go which is nice to do either or I prefer to type things in but you know for people who like the GUI you can click through as well so also included uh, you see G Calculator and LeafPad and LeafPad is the default text editor for many Linux distributions. Very solid, um, very stable. Uh, I do a lot of programming, so I would like to see uh, a tool like Genie included, but I realize in a minimalist distribution that it's kind of pie in the sky, and if I really want, I can install the package myself. So also under Applications, you can see um, they chose to use Aurora Web Browser. And Aurora is a Firefox rebrand. So if we go, we can see that it's version 9.082. And Firefox is great for many reasons, but one of the reasons is it supports the control enter function. So if you're going to a .com site and you just type the name and hit control enter, it'll fill in the www in the .com for you. And we can scroll down and see here that Archbang Linux is number 26 on DistroWatch and it's actually on an uptick. So Definitely a more popular distribution. Uh, one of the nice things is that we have Flash enabled by default. So if we go in here and we type in Nirvana, you can see we get lots of results. And let's see, we'll just click on a video here. And the sound is turned off, so you won't hear anything. And it looks like, thanks to Vivo, we get a nice advertisement instead of the actual video. But just to see that. Flash is working. Uh, we'll check one more website out. And this is actually my website, cleanpc.com. It's actually going to do a little redirect here, so take a second. And if you want to find out more about Clean PC, I would encourage you to go here and check out the site. Uh, we have a Zenwalk distribution review on here and on our YouTube channel. So go here, check us out, let me know what you think. So also under the Applications menu, you do have transmission for BitTorrent clients, which is really nice. So under Office, not a whole lot. Uh, under Other, you can see there's Flash Player um, and some ways to customize OpenBox and ArchBang Linux. Sound and Video, you have Gnome Player and XFBurn, which is great for burning disks, uh, ISOs, music CDs. And under System Tools, you have System Profile and Benchmark, which is actually Hard Info, which is a great program. And you can also drop into the terminal. So if we drop into the terminal here, it uh, gives us some information about the system, ArchBang i686, running kernel 3.0. Uh, you can see the uptime there, window manager is open box, 557 packages, and we're only using 78 megabytes out of the one gig of RAM that we have. Um, ArchBang Linux is a great distribution for older PCs. Um, 
I've tried it on some different netbooks. Um, it does have some issues configuring um, hardware, and Arch is really a distribution for intermediate to advanced Linux users. So if you're new to Linux and you want to put this on a network, be careful. Um, you might have some trouble, um, and it may be a little frustrating, or you may not, but just be forewarned. Um, but if you have any old desktops, 500 megahertz, 256 megs of RAM, ArchBang Linux will definitely breathe some new life into them. So as we're here in the terminal, we'll just run a couple commands so you can take a look. Again, very snappy. Everything in Arch is ArchBang is nice and quick. And you can also see after the applications, you can go to places, uh, recent files, and then you can also go in here. And there's the Conky config, so you can configure that if you want to add some more things or take some things away. Also has uh, eye candy, open box, take a screenshot, and some more configuration stuff. So, again, very, very um, quick and efficient interface. You can also go to the exit menu where we could log out, restart, or shut down the machine. So, overall, I really like ArchBang. Um, I think it's a great distribution. Uh, again, it's for intermediate to advanced Linux users. Um, very difficult to configure if you've never used Linux before. So if you're a first-time Linux user, I would recommend trying Ubuntu or Linux Mint, um, which are a little bit more uh, new Linux user friendly. But overall, I give Arch a, a 4 out of 5. There are a couple of things um, that I'm not a fan of, uh, you know, very limited on some of the applications. I know it's a minimalistic distribution, but would like to see maybe Abby Word included, uh, maybe G Numeric just for some uh, office applications. But overall, a very efficient, quick operating system. So highly recommend it. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. Appreciate your time.